woke up early about 5 a.m. on Tuesday morning, and, and I just was feeling really horrible again. And I knew it was more than just being sore from the hundred, you know. Woke up the doctors, and we tested, and unfortunately it came up that I was positive for COVID. And, you know, my first thought was not to panic. You know, I was thinking, you know, I've been in worse situations. You know, I've run with, you know, worse conditions myself. And uh, we just took it day by day, trying to hydrate as much, quarantined off. And, uh, and I definitely say that it's, it's taking its toll for sure, but I, I've never been more proud of myself for being able to come out here and, and getting a bronze medal where last Olympic I was winning this time, I, I, I couldn't be more. Did you ever consider not winning a 200 final? No. No, I, uh, I didn't. I was just saying, we were just going to try and quarantine as much as possible, stay away, um, not trying to, you know, pass it off and, and just, to be honest, give it my all. If I wasn't to make it, if somebody would have definitely taken my spot and that would have been my time that I, you know, didn't deserve to be in the final. Okay, now, how does this diagnosis affect your potential availability for the 4x100 meter relay with Team USA? Yeah, I, at the moment, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm feeling more on the side of, you know, letting Team USA do their thing. You know, they've proven with uh, great certainty that they can handle it without me. And if, if that's the case coming off today, then uh, I'm perfectly fine to say, hey, you guys go do your thing. You guys have more than enough speed to be able to handle it and get the gold medal. Noah, well, thank you for stopping by to explain it to everyone, and we sure hope you feel better. All right, thank you, Lewis.